and what is right for you. And if you listen well, you will take just the right measures to keep yourselves very well, very safe, very protected, and in very good health. Remember, above all, that health is body, heart and mind and spirit. Your spirit is healthy when it's in you, when it's present. Because in this life, you're trying to be present and incarnated. And what happens with anxiety and fear is you, you kind of, ooh, ooh, you, 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 you get disembodied and then you can't do anything. Unless you're a really good puppeteer and you've got a good remote control system and you can make your body work from sort of up here somewhere. So you got to get back in. Got to be in your body, beloved ones. And to do that, remember the simple, simple ways. Breathe. Slow your breathing down. Whatever thoughts are in your mind, let them go because they're tiring and actually they don't solve anything. Feel your heartbeat. You know, sometimes you can literally put your hand there and feel your pulse. I'm alive, I'm here, I'm well. Start to make affirmations. I am the living spirit within. I am the full embodiment of my higher self. I am strong. I am resilient. I am healthy. I'm getting stronger all the time. I'm protected. I'm safe. I have everything I need. I am taken care of. I am loved. I am held by a great company of beautiful beings who surround me. I open to receive this love that fills up every cell of my body. And really feel yourself available because what happens if you get into a turmoil or a turbulence or, uh, you know, you get stuck in anxiety is that all the gateways of your system, of your light body close down, you start to contract and then you are under-resourced, you don't have enough love coming in from the source of your being. So spend time expanding, beloved ones. Remember that it is a vibrational universe. Remember that your resonant field needs to be charged up. You need to bring your love into your being. It's simple, it's not rocket science. You need to be available to love and to receive the energy of the divine inside your being. Remember, you are not abandoned. You're just in a big transition, in a big global initiation, in a massive upliftment exercise where that's your job. Lift yourself up. Come back to connection with the divine. Don't abandon the divine. Don't abandon your cosmic purpose here on the earth at this time. When it feels everything around you is, is, is vibrating at, at, in a way that you, you, you don't really want to vibrate with it, but you just find yourself vibrating with it. So let's just think of that a moment. Think of you as a molecule, you know, an atom of joy. That you are an indestructible atom. You know, you're connected with the divine. That the one beauty and love and ecstasy of the divine is embodied in this atom you are. And that you are indestructible. And wherever you go in the universe, you know, what happens is you bring this light and it shines and, and as it shines, it protects you and it expands you more and more. And, and you become a bigger atom and you, you multiply. You know, you become a greater being, a multiple atom being. And wherever you go, this energy is coming in from the source as you breathe. So just with me now, just feeling yourself free. Even though you may not be able to be free as it feels to you, you may feel somewhere physically constricted, but on the inner plane, you are free. And you are able to connect with everybody with this, 
this joy, this uplifting energy that says, join me in joy. Join me in the creation of a new reality. And as you reach out and travel in your atom, like it is a spiritual vessel that enables you to travel and move around within the spiritual universe. And even though your body may be, in a sense, having to stay still or be where you are in your home, you are reaching out to your, your joyous atom vessel and you're connecting with many souls and making a stronger and stronger being that is connecting across the universe, across the worlds of light, coming together, coming together, creating bigger and bigger beings of light that embody within, within the light world and are around you in your reality, but are also connected with everyone's reality and feel yourselves making connection. Perhaps it is on the internet. Perhaps it is in your meditations or both. But feel in your heart how you are free to connect. You are spiritually free and no one can stop you becoming strong and unified in the field of consciousness from which all change is created in the physical world. And so it is. Feel yourselves so free, so connected with all the minds and hearts who are bringing beauty, joy, love, light, upliftment, ascension, deep change and transformation onto the earth, into manifestation. Blessings and peace to you once.